So today in class we were talking about least common multiple. We had done GCF earlier. LCM is the other common uh, term you'll hear. It's a similar. There's a lot of similar things between the GCF and the LCM. Uh, with least common multiple, though, we want to think that L the L is for least. It's like the smallest common is what two or more numbers have in common and multiple. Multiples are I think there's like many of them. We multiples many factors few multiples it has the word multiply in it so if I was to write the multiples of 5 for example it would be 5 times 1 is 5 10 15 20 and so on it could go on forever there's many multiples so one way to find the least common multiple is simply by understanding what it means and just listing multiples we call that method one today in class so let's say I had the numbers 10 and 12 and I wanted to find what's the smallest number that these are going to have in common that is a multiple of both. So if I listed out the multiples, start with 10, I'm going to list all the multiples. We have 10, 10 times 2 is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Anyway, I could keep going on and on and on. And then I would write down 12, and I would list some of the multiples of 12. 12 times 1 is 12. 2 is 24, 36, 48, 60. And I notice at this point, I have something that they have in common. I generally recommend try to write out maybe like the first five and then start working on the next numbers for five and see if you find something by then. If not, you would just have to keep going. But this is the first number that is a multiple of both 10 and 12 that they have in common. So this is the first method. You simply just list them out starting with multiplying by 1, and eventually you'll get something that they have in common. If you were working with three numbers instead of two numbers, so I could have, for instance, let's say 15 happened to be there too, 15, 30, 45. In this case, they all have 60 in common. It's the first one that they all have in common. Other numbers could have make could make it so that it's much farther down the line. And you always want to think what's the smallest number though. So you only have to go until you get something they'll have in common. That's the first method for finding least common multiple. I just put LCM equals 60, and that would be my work.